exactly are you doing? Okay. Well, right now I'm just brushing them down. We're getting ready to put them in the ring. So we just want to clean them off. This morning we got up and washed them all and um, got all the nasty stuff off of them, I guess. And now we're just going to brush off all the loose straw that they've been laying in. And then we'll take them and get them some water and get them in the ring. So how long does it take to wash them off in the morning? Uh, we usually allow about 15 minutes a cow. And it just depends. How many cows did you bring with you today? We have nine here. Oh, really? Uh-huh. So you've been up since pretty early in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got up at 5.30 this morning. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> is there a way you have to brush? Okay, well we brush them starting from the back. You pull all the hair forward and then in the front you pull it down. Okay. Is there a reason for that? Um, it makes them look longer. There's a lot. Whenever you're showing, you can do a lot with the hair. I mean, how you do the hair, it can make them look wider or thinner. You can fix a lot of your cow just by doing the hair different. Really? Yeah. And there's a lot of, we clipped them all before we came and stuff like that just to make them look better. So explain to us exactly what kind of breed cow this is. This is a Simitol. All these are Simitol, except for the two red ones and they're red Angus. And yeah. Why? Why is it all? Um, I don't know. The Angus breed's really competitive, and we've always had Simital, so that's just my dad's thing, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now this, you're not going to show this cow, but one of your brothers is. My sister. Yes. Okay. Yep. So now they they're trusting you to pull out this, this cow for them. That's got to be a little bit of. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> now, do you have a certain sister or brother that pulls them out better for you? Or? No, well, my one sister, she does. She's the big cow person, but we just try to help her. <laughs> so. No, not. I mean, this is just a county fair. If we were at the state fair or something, we would want to get all their hairs exactly right, take a lot more time on them, but here it's not that big of a deal. She told me to move, so. <laughs> So how long will you be here today? Um, I'd say the show will last till about noon, and then, yeah, and then uh, our cows have to stay here until Friday. Till when? Friday. Oh really? Yeah. We got here yesterday, so. Oh wow. <laughs> yep. This is uh, our third fair, and we still have two left after this one. Oh really? Wow. <laughs> so it's quite the season. Right? Yeah, well, we start them usually about November. We start tying them up and getting them broke. We actually hook them up to a donkey to get them broke to leave. Really? We leave about, we just hook their halters on it, leave about three feet of room between them. And the donkey, I guess it's stubborn enough that if they don't do what they want it to, it kicks them. So then they <laughs> learn to follow him. So you've been preparing for this for quite a while. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much a year-round deal. Year-round. <laughs> yep. So then you, you obviously have a donkey at home. Yeah. What other animals do you have at home? Right now, that's all, we got a dog. But in the past, we've had a couple of sheep and four goats. We tried killing pigs last year. <laughs> Didn't work out or? Uh, they make a lot of mess. Oh. <laughs> Root up the barns and stuff, so. I like cows better. <laughs> We're better equipped for cows. <laughs> okay, so now this is the next one in line that'll go in. Yep. Basically. Yep. Do they give you a schedule? Of yeah, which we have is a, a book. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then at this fair, they show Ang Angus, and then all the other breeds show together. 
Okay. But there's so many Angus that they have their own class. So that's what was going on this morning. Okay. And then now it's all the other breeds put together. This is everything else. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then they'll put the they'll bring the top ones in from the AOB and the Angus and show them against each other. Oh, really? Now, what, what are the prices? I mean, there's got to be something. Well, okay, this is the 4-H show and the junior show at the same time. Okay. So that's why they're bringing in, like, they'll bring in one, and then they'll wait a couple minutes and bring in another. That's the junior show entries. And junior show pays premium. Like, first place is $55, and then 50 and 45 Oh, wow, okay. And then they have the open show tomorrow and then they do that up there, but it's a lot more. <laughs> yeah. How will you be in the open show? Or? Yeah, we have the bottom six are all going in the open show. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> so then will you camp out here with the, with the animals? Or? Um, usually we just go home. We only live yeah. about 20 miles from here, so. No, if it was a different fair and a different yeah. location, you camp out. Yep. Well, that's fun. Put up some cots in the barn and <laughs> say that. Well, at night we tie all the cows outside of the barn uh -huh. so their stalls can dry out. Oh, okay. And then we'll tie them out. Oh, so you tie them all outside and then you sleep inside? Yep. The barn? Yep. <laughs> one of these? Which one was the one you're going to show? Mine is the third from the end. Third from the end, okay. Yep. So you're saying it wasn't behaving? No, it's, it's not actually. He's not behaving? He's, he's kicked four times since he's been here. So he's so. not happy? No, I don't guess so. <laughs> this is his first fair that he's been to. Oh, so really? Usually when you get them away from the farm the first time, they kind of act up a little bit. Okay. So, can you kind of explain some of the equipment that you got to have, you know, to, to show here? Okay. Well, the rope that's around their face, that's a halter. Okay. And then the one that goes around their neck, that's just a neck rope. And that's, you lead them with their halter, but their neck rope just to keep them tied up so they don't get loose. If they get one off, they still got the other one on. And then the sticks that everybody has in the ring, those are show sticks, just okay. to set up their feet and make them look as wide or thin as you need them to. Okay. Then you have all kinds of brushes. There's a curry comb, okay. which is there's one over there. It's like a circle that gets out clotted messes okay. in the hair. And then a brush like this one. Okay. And there's also scotch combs, which is what's in all the pockets. Okay. And that's if the judge touches your animal, you're supposed to fix the hair. Okay. And we have our fans. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're saying all the fans? Yeah, we just have fans set up. We usually put them four or five to a fan. Now, are these your fans? Or are yeah. They supplied by fans? No, we brought them. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, wow. And That's these cool. these cows, whenever they're tied up at home, they also stay under the fan. It helps their hair grow if you get them wet and put them under the fan. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you were saying that you, you give them a haircut before you bring them here. Yep. I mean, how, how much hair is actually is there that you're cutting off? Okay, well, everything from their front shoulders forward is completely shaved off. And then you do their tails, like, to make them shave off all right here. And then this line across here and some of it down through there. Okay. But you just kind of blend it so you don't see lines. Okay. But usually their bodies are okay and that's, they just have lots of hair. But it's quite a bit of hair that comes off. And you're not allowed to shave their ears. They don't, cows don't really like you messing with their ears. Whenever you're washing them, if you get water in their ears, they kind of don't like that very much either. <laughs> so do you use any, uh, what are they calling for you? No, Katie, oh. officer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, do you use any soap on them or anything when you're we washing them? We just use uh, Joy. Oh, right. Like kitchen soap, yep. Wow. You just take it with your hand, smear it on there, and brush it in. 
showing a dam and offspring class, which is just a cow and its calf. Okay. And this is the 4-H show part of it. <laughs> I don't know if there's any more entries in junior or not. So now what is the judge going to be looking at when he's looking at these two? How closely they look like each other, how much the baby looks like its mom, and just how nice the actual cows are. So what's he looking for in, an, in, in the cow? Um, make sure it's wide. Uh, depending on how big the offspring is, see if it's uh, matured over its having a baby and everything. Everything went up like it was supposed to. Okay. Now in terms of showing them, I mean, I, I'm noticing that there are certain ways they want the cow to stand and everything. Well, what's the technique to that? Okay, well, with the show sticks, they just want to make the feet, like that's not right right there, but they want to make the feet look straight, and that'll make it look a lot wider in the back end, and you want them really wide in the back. Okay. And then if you push them out farther, it'll make them look longer. Okay. Or if you scrunch their, pull their feet more towards okay, you, it'll make them look shorter. Okay, now we the champion female overall for the Angus, Ethan Geisel, with his senior yearling heifer. It seems like your sister's doing a lot of the showing. Yeah. Yeah. That's her thing? Yeah. <laughs> we help her at home and stuff, and we let her do it in the ring. <laughs> it's a lot easier to put them all in one name instead of all four of us. I got you. <laughs> so then you'll go in and... Let's say she might enter two cows. I'll take the second and one. And you'll take the second mm -hmm. one in for her. I see. Yep. And like in the, to have a pair, they have to both be entered in the same person's name. So, like you could show them in their class individually and then in the pair's class. So they have to be both oh, in her I name. See. Okay. It's kind of confusing. <laughs> no, no. Right now they're showing the all other breeds versus the Angus to see which ones. Okay. And this is the Angus that they just uh -huh. brought in. Now, what is what are some of the key differences between the Angus and the? Um, the Simital are taller and they have really big ears. They're known for their big ears. Okay. <laughs> um, Angus are solid black. There's not any other, uh -huh. no white on them or anything. And Simital started out as red and white, and now they've mixed them into being black. Really? So. Huh. And I think Angus are meaner, but... <laughs> they're meaner? <laughs> I think they are. We've had a couple Angus cross, and they're the ones that like to jump fences and tear oh, up geez. stuff, so... <laughs> so do you still see uh, Simital that are red and white? Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah, we have a few at home. So now, I mean, your family is very involved in this. Are there other families that are equally as involved oh, yeah. that you see all the time? And yeah, most, I'd say four of these families here go to most of the other shows that we go to, too. Okay. So, it's kind of a big group thing. Huh. <laughs> now, is there any, like, rivalries between families? Or? Well, all the other guys are all Angus, so not with us, because we never oh, show against them, but between those families, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Because, you know, depending on the judge, it, it depends who's over who that day. Uh -huh. You know, they might go to six different fairs and be placed different at all of them. Wow. <laughs> so every judge is kind of looking for something a little bit yep. different then. Yep. So this judge, what would you say he's looking for? He likes them big. <laughs> yeah, he's the superintendent at the Ducoin State Fair. He's the beef superintendent. So he's, he's ran a lot of cows, but... I 
don't know. He wouldn't place a breed over another just because of the breed, but. Yeah. yeah. So now, why, are you, why does everybody scratch them under? Just, it calms them down. Really? At big shows, they make you use leather halters, and they have a chain on them. And if you jingle the chain, it's right in their ear, and it calms them down, too. But really? they like it if their belly scratched, so it makes them stay in place most of the time. <laughs> Usually if they're jumping around a lot, they got a horse fly on them. There's lots of horse flies out in that ring. It's making them go kind of crazy. You know, I mean, he's judging the animal. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some, some of the... Some that are, you know, a little more ruckus than others that are pushing, you know. Is he judging them on how well handled they are in the ring as well? Not, no, not in this. They have a showmanship class when he's judging strictly on how the kid deals with the animal. Okay. And he's supposed, he's supposed to be watching them all day and stuff. Just, you know, everybody will eventually have one that acts up and just how they handle it. So, but right now he's just judging on the cows. So no, which which award is the award to get? You know, which place is the one that's really sought after? Yeah, you know, I hope you can say all that. There's all these different categories, but which is the best one? I mean, you want to get the overall grand champion heifer and reserve champion heifer and grand champion steer. Wonderful set of kids here. Thank you all for giving me the honor and the privilege to come into the Wayne County Fair. Those are the the trophy ones, I guess. In Southern Illinois for a long time. And like I said, I keep bragging up on these kids, and that, that's a direct reflection. And then they on pick the and a showmanship winner out of each so species. Around and then on Thursday, they do a round robin and have all the kids, like the pig kid, and there's pigs and horses and goats and sheep and cows, and then they'll all switch and show each other's animals. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I did that last year. It's pretty fun. You know, I've never showed a horse before, but <laughs> I did this time. Yep. <laughs> well, that's kind of neat. Katie Hatfield is about to bring your heavyweights here in for the reserve collection. So now a lot of the larger cows that you showed here today are going to be auctioned off. They, they only let you auction off steers. Oh, okay. And when we auction off, Round of the buyers don't actually keep the steers. I won't take too much of your time. I'll they, raise all these kids all work, and I, I have one. They don't pay, they, they like, just do a flat right price, it's not by the pound or anything. And pretty much it's just a donation to 4-H, and they get their picture taken and put it up in their business. But we actually keep the animals. And then if they want the animal, For they have the option to buy it, at, again, at market business. value. Okay. So, <laughs> that's kind of confusing too, but I know a lot of counties, their 4-H ones, they actually do keep it, but here, we keep them. Over as of September 1, 2007. And that kind of raises money for the next year. Right. Okay. 